in Brazil, obviously, but uh, obviously you're, you're just as big here. What's this like for you? Uh, it's a, it's a, a big thing for me, you know. Uh, it's a, uh, actually, I'm working hard every day to get those, to live those things, you know. And uh, I think it's just uh, when you are recognized, it's it's because of your what you're doing is working. So I'm happy with my my condition now, my my what I'm living. One thing that was kind of new for you, you had some choice words for Frank Mir, saying that, you know, questioning his heart and questioning kind of him as a man. We've never really seen you talk bad about somebody before. Is that something new uh, for you? Uh, no, I, was, uh, I wasn't talk bad about him, you know. I just gave my opinion. You know, when I said in Brazil, when I, we say he's not a man, I, I, I have nothing personal against him, you know. I, I don't even know him personally, you know. But uh, I, I would like, uh, like I was saying, he, when he's living a bad situation in the fight, he doesn't have a, a heart to give to escape of that, that situation, you know. So to recover of that situation, that's why I said that. But uh, the other way, he's he's uh, very good when he got when he's living a good moment in a in a fight. Did you? Uh, it almost seems like random here. It might have been you a long time. Is that why you're so close to him? Maybe you kind of experienced something you didn't run up and you want to bring him here. Oh yeah, I'm 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 very close of the of uh, the whole kids of, of our team there in Brazil. I like I like them, you know. We are a, a family there, you know. And but you know I can see myself a little bit in uh, in Breno, uh, like when he is because when he's looking me, watching me to training, I think he's he's uh, like he, he wants to be uh, a fighter one day too, you know. So when I was kid, uh, I used to watch judo classes, and I was uh, I was wondering, imagine I could be one of them one day. And I think it's the same way for him, you know. And he's just he's just very funny kid and very nice. He lives close up by the gym, so I think uh, this this uh, opportun opportunity is uh, is gonna be unforgettable for him. Yeah, sure. can you explain? Poverty would come and what he would think looking around at all of this, like yeah, I think he's, uh, he's really like you know I was I was talking with him about uh, the trip you know how was in the flight and, and things like that everything is very new for him and for his mom and his brother so uh, I think it's a good you know it's good for him for them you know not just for him but for them too and uh, he, he's really enjoying everything. And, he, li he really liked to play all the time, and you can you could see in the in the training he played with all the fighters. So he's uh, good. Drew, uh, here. Uh, Frank is from Las Vegas, and but you, you as you can see here you have a very very high very high on the speed here. Yeah, the crowd are very excited about you. Uh, so you think you can at least uh, uh, equal balance the, the the crowd on there, right? Yeah, I think uh, I'm happy because people like me, you know, and it's good for me, you know. That's what I want. I want to be recognized because I work hard every day for that. And in Brazil now, the the, the sport is is uh, is living a very good moment. But here, especially in Vegas, you know, everybody comes to watch the fight. So I hope I, I got a lot of people uh, rooting for me in the day of the fight too. I know uh, it's, uh, Las Vegas is Frank Mir's hometown, but for sure it's going to get a lot of people rooting for me too. Drew, the, it seems like the, the heavyweight title has proved tough for guys to hold on to. A lot of guys hold it, you know, they win it and then they lose it in their, their first defense. Uh, why do you think it, that that title is particularly tough for guys to keep? Uh, because the, our division uh, is, the, I think, it's the most dangerous division, uh, yeah, you know, in the whole sports. Because when the punch land on your face or on your, you know, on your body, you go down. It's because uh, it's too much power involved, and I think it's very hard. You know, when uh, when you got sometimes you got favorites uh, like uh, for the fight. But it doesn't matter for the heavyweights, when, you know, because uh, we are very 
powerful fighters. <laughs> but you've said that you wanted to hold this title for a, for a long time. You're conscious of that now. When did you start thinking like that? After you won the title, or did you did you think prior to that, if I ever win or when I win the title, I'm going to hold it a long time? No, yeah, I always I always think the I always try to think the the best for me, you know. And my dream was to become champion, and now I'm champion. Thank God for that. And when you achieve your 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 dreams, they they got uh, the usual got bigger, you know. Now I got bigger dreams. And uh, I, I want to hold this belt for a long, long time, you know, and be the, the, the heavyweight that, uh, uh, like, be part of the history of the heavyweights. Are you more pleased that Frank Mir is your first title defense rather than Alistair Overeem because Frank Mir hasn't tested positive in his career and he's a former UFC heavyweight champion? Você tá com medo? Não, se você tá mais contente por ele nunca, nunca ter testado positivo por, por substâncias químicas e, e também por ele já ter sido campeão, se isso é o melhor atleta. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I think, yeah, I'm, uh, I, I don't care about who's gonna be my opponent. I, I just wanna, I wanna fight, you know, and uh, defend on my belt. I think uh, Frank Mir is a really dangerous opponent because he's, he's really good on the ground, you know, he got a pretty good... Stri uh, strike skills, and uh, it's gonna be a good challenge for me. You know, uh, uh, I don't care. Like, I don't care who's gonna be my opponent, but uh, I hope they are fighting like me, clean. You know, because I'm clean, and I hope my opponent uh, be could uh, be, uh, get. Huh? Yes. It's clean too. Uh, I guess to rephrase, do you feel that Frank Mir offers more to your legacy as a heavyweight champion because he is a heavyweight champion? Uh, yeah, I don't think about those things, you know, I, I just want to win, you know, I don't care about uh, my opponents, like I said, and uh, he's, a, he's a huge uh, uh, fighter, like, a, he got a, a really good career, uh, Alistair Wolverine had a better, got a good, really good career too, so, uh, if I fight with Alistair Wolverine, that could be really good for me too, you know, a good uh, test for my uh, stand-up skills. But now the challenge is Frank Mir, and I'll, uh, I'm ready to beat him. It seems like there's a lot of demands on the champion's time. A lot of people, you know, want you to go places and do interviews. And when Kane was here, it seemed like a part of him was maybe glad not to have to deal with that this time around. How has it been for you? Tem muitas demandas no tempo de um campeão, da pessoa que ocupa esse, esse cargo. E no, quando o Caim Velasquez esteve aqui hoje, parecia até que uma parte dele estava feliz por não ter mais essas obrigações todas de imprensa no tempo dele. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the hard part, you know. You have a, we have a, when you are champion, we have a lot of attention of the people, of the media, so that take your, uh, that uh, take your time, you know, to do all those things. And, but I think it's part of the job and uh, I try to, to do my best, you know, sometimes uh, it's hard, but, you know, I always, I try to be always uh, uh, motivated, you know, to be doing the, the, all the, the things, you know, but I think uh, what important is uh, your training, your camp that you did, when you do a, when you have a good camp, you very you can be very confident to uh, you're gonna be 100 in the day of the fight. So the other part, I try to I just try to do. You work on all facets of, of, of the sport, but people look at you or it's been it's said that you're a one-dimensional fighter. How do you feel about that when people say that to you? That you're one-dimensional, you just have the punch, the knockout power. That oh, yeah. that's all you've needed though. <laughs> Yeah, at this point. You know, I, I like I used to say, I, I really believe in, on my hands. You know, the power I, I got on my hands, because uh, uh, you know, I'm, I, in this division, heavyweight, all, all the, the fighters have a lot of power. But I think you have to to make a, a mix of power and speed and uh, strategy. And I try to to put all those things together in the fight. You know my strategy with my my speed on the fight and the power of my hands that's why I, I, I really believe I can knock anyone up, anyone out Thank you. Thank you.